What is up, YouTube? So today, I have some big news, a big announcement. So I have been saying that I'm going to start the cut March 1st, which is approximately 13 days from now. But I've decided that I'm going out with a more powerlifting approach to my workouts until the 27th of March. So that's 26 more days than I was expecting. But there is some good news. So my deadlift currently is 415 pounds, which is very weak for my weight, my body weight, and my long longevity. So my arms are very long. My legs are very long. So I should technically be very good at deadlifts but it might be one of my worst lifts. So I've been training the shit out of my back, my glutes, my hamstrings, my quads, everything that involves deadlift. And I feel like my deadlift is absolutely exploding. And with my program that I will full in depth next video describe. So watch out for that video because I'm full in depth explaining what it is, what it does and why I use it. So basically in that program, I am starting week four today and there is nine weeks of the program. And the past three weeks, I've had, I think, two deadlift PRs, and each time I've hit 10 pounds, 10 pound PR, obviously. So I think if I get all the micro movements to the exact precision that I want, I'm going to hit 455 pound deadlift by the end of this program, which in a sense sounds kind of insane. But since my deadlift is so weak, I believe in the fact that I could throw on four plates in a 25, rip it off the ground, and then start my cut instead of um, hitting 415, being all sloppy and stuff like that, and just being pretty lean. Uh, it just doesn't sound as appealing as hitting a 500-pound deadlift, which I'm about to explain, by the time I'm 18. So, what I just said, I want a 500-pound deadlift by the time I'm 18. So, the day I don't care if it's the day before, I will hit 500 pounds. Squat, I really don't care about because my knees, it's still kind of an issue. Bench, not really that big of a deal. If it, I do hit 315 bench by the time I'm 18, that would be extraordinary, but I do not expect to hit 315 until the end of my senior year. If you guys don't know, I'm a junior currently, so I have about a year and a half to do that. So right now, I'm going to do the most excruciating leg day I've done on this whole entire program. What I have today is a five rep max, a four by 12, and then the rest of my leg workout. And if you guys aren't big lifters and you don't know what a 4 by 12 is, it is the worst thing you can ever do in the gym. You have the worst lift, the most hardest, squats. And then you have the highest repetitions that you could possibly do without being an absolute idiot. So you don't really go past 12 in any sort of lift. That's really the max you should be doing. So I have four sets of that, which is absolutely insane not even regarding my knees. So my knees are blown out and my SPD knee sleeves that are mediums do not fit. So I have to return them again for the third time. So it's nothing against SPD. I'm just an idiot about choosing my size of knee sleeve, but I've been talking way too long and I've been waiting way too long for those knee sleeves because I'm just absolutely pissed at myself because why would I think I'm a medium when I'm obviously a large? Why would I even think I'm a small in the first place? So I'm going to go through the most excruciating workout I have had in weeks, and hopefully I do pretty good at it. Hopefully I don't fail the 12 reps. Hopefully I don't tear my knee off my joint. We'll see.
felt this way before It must be you and I It's got me thinking about us more It's these bright lights that put me in a daze And I can't stop but think about the way that you Move around up and down on that stage It's your future vibes So I need to make my third trip this week to the vitamin shop, which is the vitamin store near me. Um, really cool dudes over there. Really nice. Um, good prices, I guess. Um, pretty generic prices, to be honest. So my workout was pretty good. My knees actually felt pretty amazing up until I started doing lunges. And I was like dying to end the workout. And uh, my squats, I altered my feet from being fully straight to just slightly, maybe 5, 10 degrees uh, on an angle, so my hips were, and glutes would be more activated. So, in turn, that gave me less pressure onto my quads and overall less hypertrophy and strength training onto my quads, but it will get my squat up, which will, in turn, get my quads up and fix my knees. So, once my knees are absolutely 100% completely fine, I'm going to be switching my squat stance and I'm just going to pick up, not even pick up, what would it be called? S stand up with 405, I guess. I'm so used to doing deadlifts and bench and stuff. I, I hate squats with an absolute passion. Um, I hate heavy squats. I don't really mind doing too many reps. The 4x12 was not too horrible. I did that with 235 because I was too lazy to grab a 2.5 and do 240 because I was supposed to do 240, but you know. Too lazy. 2.5 is the most rare thing you could find in a gym, and this gym probably has two of them. So, right now I'm going to go to the Vimin shop and uh, purchase some secret stuff. Alright, so basically what I got, I just got some protein powder, um, just the simple way, and uh, just some more creatine because I ran out of that. So, we got a little reward because we come here so much. I think it's my third time here. So, I don't know where I'm going to take this video from now. It might end here. Or I might um, prolong it and uh, make another day. Uh, maybe I go out somewhere today. Maybe I go out somewhere cool with Dan and David and all of them. But uh, we'll have to see. So I'll catch you whenever.